In previous video, we were able to finally make our first animation, which is moving the square from point A to point B. Uh, like I've told you before, if you don't understand the logic, go back to the previous video, rewind, make sure you get the logic because that's actually the foundation of creating animation in After Effects. All right, but now we are going to take it a bit further. I'm going to explain some things more and then take it a bit further. Now, I want you to stop your playhead and then just take it back to the beginning. And I want you to zoom in to your timeline. Don't zoom in too much. If you zoom in too much, you start seeing the frames. But zoom out so you can only see the seconds alone. Now, I want to explain this. On the very first zero second, I've taken my time indicator to the very soon. You can see that we have a keyframe here. So this keyframe has a value, which is 316, right? If we go to the second keyframe, this value is 1621. So what Atta Effect is doing is interpolating between the two values, right? Like we've done before. So I just wanted to mention that. And if you want to move from one keyframe to another, can you see this button right here? If you click on this, it goes to the next keyframe. If you click on the previous one, it goes to the previous keyframe. So you use that to toggle from one keyframe to another. Now, if I zoom back out and if I play this, Again, you see that my play just keep going until it gets to five seconds, then it restarts. What if I don't want it to keep going because I only have two seconds animation? I will stop, stop my play. Then I want you to over your mouse over this blue icon here, just this blue one, until you see this mouse icon change to this and then drag it back to three seconds. Let's change it to three seconds. Now, if I play this again, can see that it stopped at three seconds and it will start again so that is useful because if you want to just quickly preview your animation within that work area that is very useful for that so moving on in my own opinion right i think this movement is boring like nothing in real life moves this way you can see that it's just going then nothing is it's, it's there's no attitude to the movement there's no acceleration no deceleration no top speed so we are about to make this more interesting now. But before I move on, I want you to understand that when you see this diamond icon, right? Because there are different kinds of keyframes, which I'll get to now. This diamond icon is a linear keyframe. So linear keyframes are like the boring keyframes. But now we want to make things interesting. So I want you to do something for me. I want you to ally these two keyframes. Go to animation, go to keyframe assistant, then apply easy ease. And immediately you do that, you realize that diamond icon, which is the linear keyframe, has changed to this hourglass icon. So this hourglass icon are easy ease keyframe. And immediately you see the difference in our animation. So let me just zoom back out a little bit. And if I play this now, I want you to I want you guys to notice the movement. Can you see that it's different from what we had before? Right? It's not quite different, but it is different. So what's going on? I'm going to tell you why this is different in a bit now. I want to also introduce you guys to one other thing right now. I want to introduce you guys to graph editor. So I want you to over your mouse over this place. Making first of all, make sure that these two keyframes are highlighted. Then click on your graph editor just once. Then you will first of all see something like this, right? Don't worry, this is your value graph. Don't worry, don't do anything on it. Just right click, then click on edit speed graph. Then you see a curve like this if you are not seeing this very well just make sure you zoom in and out of your timeline then you're able to see this very well so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and i have this and of course you might have to change this as well you might have to move this as well so that you can see your graph very well now i want you guys to notice something can you see that our graph is going from zero down to this top speed right here and then it comes down so what this is doing is let me let me just play this so that you can see first right so at this point it, it's slow then it gets faster get faster gets this is the top speed then it started decelerating it's becoming slower becomes slower and then it stops so this is how you read the graphs think of it this way when it's down it's slow when it's at the top it's fast of course when it's down it's slow so what you are practically seeing here is you see that our shape is accelerating, then this is the top speed, then it decelerates and then it stops. So, like I've said, think of it as slow, fast, slow, right? Now, that is easy. Ease. So, let me play this again so that you can see what I'm saying. Can you see that from this point, it's slow, then fast, then slow? 
like it moves like way things should move normally so if, when you throw a ball there's a part where it's you know pick up speed then get to top speed and then it slows down so this is what easy is this right but now what if we want to make it more interesting what if we want it to really make it slow towards the end of point b now i want you to follow me carefully now take your play head just put it on the side you don't want it to distract us just drag and alight this end alone right just take this yellow point here but take the handle here and then drag it back as you're dragging it back hold and shift so that you end up doing something you end up doing something like this right just drag it back hold and shift right now you have a different curve now play this can you see what's going on so it's slow towards the beginning then top speed really really fast then it's now become really slow towards the end i can do different kinds of you know graph of movement so in looking at this now you can see that this is going to be really really slow then it's just pick up speed very fast then it comes really slow you can apply all sort of movement style to your animation using easy ease and going straight to your graph editor to have something really 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 cool now let me just click this back you can see that our animation our keyframe still remain the same it's still the same icon but if you go to your graph editor you've done some tweaking right so the takeaway from this video is don't just leave your animation on linear keyframe you can make it more interesting by applying easy ease and then go straight to your graph editor and make your custom style of movement